My name is Janine Edwards and I am Legal Director at Convey Law. As part of my role as Legal Director at Convey Law, I am there with two other legal directors to assist with the live conveyances um, on the live teams. Um, we look at policy, procedure, everyday practice um, from an academic point of view, from updates in the law, um, risk and compliance, and also being a full member of the, of the board group. Outside of the workplace, I am a mum to two sons. Um, I have a 20 year old who's currently at university and then an 11 year old who always wants a rugby ball in his hands. So I have a diverse um, set of, of kind of parenting skills. Um, they take up most of my time. Um, I'm usually found on the side of a rugby pitch on the weekend or driving back and forth Bristol to, to assist Gabe, but I also very much like going out with friends, socialising and just trying to, to live life to the max really. Well, I think International Women's Day means to me that actually it's a celebration of us ladies that, that work very hard every day of the week um, and that's just not Monday to Friday, that's Monday through to Sunday evening when we're we're packing the school lunches again for, for the Monday to come around. And to be proud that we are women and that we juggle everything to show that actually we are, we are very much on par um, with the world as it is in 2023. So my proudest moment in work and in my career thus far, I suppose, would be when I was made a partner of a law firm um, around 11 years ago. Um, having gone to university to become a lawyer, um, that was where I always wanted to be, was, was sat around a partner's table and actually achieving that um, is probably my, my biggest kind of um, achievement. It made me feel actually very proud um, that I'd actually got to where I wanted to be. It was always, I always had that vision at 18. It was, okay, do I become a lawyer or do I become a, a doctor? That was my two choices when I was choosing my, my degree. Um, and ultimately when I started studying um, for, for my law degree, then ultimately it was, I want to be a partner. That is my eventual goal. Um, so it, it made me feel very proud, very happy, um, albeit it brought lots and lots of, of more work. <laughs> I achieved becoming partner, I think, through sheer hard work um, and dedication. I went into this particular law firm as a lawyer, was quickly made head of department and then a senior associate. And then within sort of 18 months of that, um, I was asked to join the, the partnership. But ultimately, it was through very, very hard work. Um, lots of hours spent perhaps outside the normal working hours and, and actually I think wanting it, um, they could see that I wanted it, they could see that I had that drive and desire to, to get where I wanted to be, so they awarded me for that dedication and hard work. I think I would advise any kind of young aspiring lawyer that wants to be a partner or conveyancer that, that wants to be a legal director, then ultimately don't try to run before you can walk. Um, get to know your trade, get to know your job inside out, know everything that you need to know and actually also be a people person. You know, respect those that are above you, respect those that are below you, respect those that are on par with you. Don't be too much of a show off, literally quietly does it and just have the confidence and conviction um, to know that you are actually good at what you do. My biggest achievement outside of work, however corny it may sound, is actually my children, because being a working mum and a full-time working mum um, and trying to juggle all of that is quite an accomplishment. And I look at my two boys now, and although they're very different, they're both actually lovely, reasonable kids that have grown into accepting that mum goes to work, women have to work, we have to, you know, we have to do well in whatever we do to be able to get what we want in life from life. Um, you know, they, they enjoy the holidays and the, you know, the shopping trips and things like that and us being able to afford um, all of the extracurriculum activities. And, and I look at them and I think, OK, even though I was having to put them into nursery from a very young age, you know, 11 weeks old um, and not picking them up, dropping them off at seven o'clock in the morning, not picking them up until five, they've just accepted that, that actually we do quite well as a family and I'm, I'm very proud. 
Yeah, I suppose my advice from that perspective would be, um, you know, ultimately, if you drop them at the school grade or you drop them at the nursery school, that as you say, you know, the, the guilt is immense. Um, but you literally have to focus for that time that you're in work and think, actually, let's try and sort of decompartmentalise a little bit. Um, and then when you collect them at the end of the day, whether it's from parents or grandparents or, or the school, think, OK, this is now their time. Um, and I would always do that. I'd, you know, as guilty as it sounds, again, I'd probably have two or three, four hours with them. And then as soon as they've had their bedtime story and they'd be in bed, my files would be back out. Um, and that's the reality of it. I think if you if you want to to creep up that, that ladder, um, you know, you are always going to be expected. And, you know, to, to do that extra bit, um, you know, it's certainly never a nine to five job if you want to achieve your, your goals. And, and I think anyone that possibly thinks that may never get there um, and it doesn't it doesn't have to be forever but it's just whilst you're whilst you're climbing um, you have to put in that extra effort it's certainly not something I do now um, you know I I tend to be able to enjoy my evenings um, we're always on call of course you know ultimately we're always forever checking our emails and seeing what kind of I can do quickly so it doesn't impact on my day tomorrow um, but the reality of life now is something quite different having the chief legal director here at Convey Law that I now have that work life balance a little bit more. Top tips for any trainee conveyance they're wanting to, to get to the heights of legal director would be just to dedication to start with actually having again the confidence to think I can do this to be able to ask for help when you need it um, I always say to any trainee um, it's not a silly question if you don't know the answer and I would always rather be asked a hundred questions of trainees than none whatsoever you know to me then as a legal director it looks like that trainee wants to learn it looks like um, he or she you know is willing to learn and they, they want to know and um, so always ask questions don't ever be frightened or ashamed um, and, and ultimately know your stuff, get to know your stuff. Um, so any kind of, you know, training that we put out there or if it's extra training with regards to webinars and what have you, take the opportunity of, of, of reading and, and attending those. 